Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. You saw the title. You know what this is. This is Anatomy of a Jam. Fish's song, Haley's Comet. Performed in 1997. November 22nd. Looks like 1997. Hampton Coliseum. We haven't got to the song yet. This is a documentary style of... Um, packed with information and history on fish and uh, other people that are associated with fish. We haven't really got to the song yet. I'm sure we will. But uh, I'm excited for this because I'm really enjoying the, the, the information and that aspect of things. I don't like this. <clears throat> Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. Anatomy of a Jam, Haley's Comet from Hampton Coliseum in 1997. This is part two. Hopefully you already joined me for part one. If not, the link for part one is in the description below. Go check that out first, and then come back and join us, and, and uh, let's keep going with part two. Hopefully, I'm assuming you're a fish fan if you're here, or at the very least you like fish. There's been a lot of history on fish so far, uh, a, lot of, a lot of history on the song, obviously, who Nancy is, that kind of stuff. It's been very, very informative. We got haven't got to the song yet. I don't know if we will in this part or not yet. Obviously, I haven't seen it. I'm uh, watching as we go here for the first time with you, but let's just dive right in. Please make sure you like comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I went back 10 seconds from where we left off, and we're going to resume right there for part two. This day. The final jam section of Haley's has no composed or official ending, so the band is forced to either transition into another song or improvise their way out of it. Fish opened their second set with Haley's Comet on 11 97 at Hampton Coliseum in Hampton, Virginia. Prior to the start of the song, fans in the front row decided to request the Fish original Destiny Unbound by collectively singing the opening lines. Destiny hadn't surfaced since the last time the band had played it at Trax in Charlottesville, Virginia on 11 91 and wouldn't make an appearance again until winter 2003 at Nassau Coliseum on 228. Trey informs the fans that he can't quite make out what they're saying. That just sounds like a, a, a horrible cannibalistic chant for people who want blood. I don't know what you're saying. Man. Is it a human sacrifice? The human sacrifice part of the show? Ah, oh, I think I'm up. Right off the bat, Mike has a challenge in Haley's. Since he starts the song by scatting Nancy's original bass line, he has to sing the note F on pitch because that's his first note. Even amongst professional musicians, it's a fairly rare skill to be able to think of a note and to perfectly sing it on pitch without the aid of a reference note. This is the same reason why Paige blows through an old school pitch pipe before Fish sings an acapella number, so the band can internally orient themselves to a reference note before they start singing. So to make sure that he's on pitch, Mike quickly plucks an F on his bass, and it takes six tenths of a second for his ear to adjust and for him to be able to sing it. Let's rewind and listen to how subtly Mike gives himself that reference note, and see if you can hear Paige give himself a reference note on the piano a half second before he sings his own part. With the exception of the jam section, the song structure of Haley's is fairly consistent. The band starts with its vocal intro, which is essentially just an a cappella version of the chorus, which itself uses a classic jazz structure called an AABA form. The A section is played twice, followed by the B section, and then the A section is played one more time. The verse also has two separate sections, but they're a little bit different from each other. 
The first part of the verse is solidly in F. How did you know that I lived in a desperate world? How could you dream that we were all made out of stone? What is the truth? But for the second part, we have our first chord that is not in the key of F, which is the chord E flat. We can be tempted to look at this as a 5 4 1 progression with a new home key of B flat. The final C chord would be a 5 of 5, a secondary dominant that leads us nicely back to our home key of F. Or perhaps since F still really feels like home, we can call it a 1 flat 7 4 progression with the final four bars acting as a 1 flat 7 4 5 progression. We have the bridge acting as a nice halfway point in the song, and then we have the verse, the pre chorus yet again before we're led into the jam, where as you may know, anything is possible. <laughs> The jam of the Hampton Haley starts at the 507 mark, where Fish deviates from the playbook in two major ways. Typically when the jam starts, Trey rips right into a soaring bluesy lead. But on this night, he immediately locks into rhythm guitar mode and favors a more relaxed cow funk approach as he switches to rhythm guitar duty with an F minor 7 chord. You can even see Chris Carota dial back his usual, more intense effect on the lights as he realizes that the jam isn't taking its usual course. since we got a commercial here good point to pause boy a lot of information some of the key information did definitely go over my head i must admit um but if it didn't go over your head or you're finding this very very informative that's that's great that's fantastic let me know in the comments if uh you're a big fish fan if you're if you uh like fish if you haven't seen this before and if you found found this really really informative the comments for the actual video are all praising uh amar for his in, how he, he researches this information and how he presents it and how, how good he is at doing this. Anatomy of a jam, very, very impressive. And it seems like it was a lot of hard work for sure. Let's uh, resume, obviously I'll skip the commercial as soon as we can. Sit up straight or even sit up straight in a chair. And at 5.13, Trey utters a command to Gordon, just off mic but close enough to be picked up, to stay on F. Meaning that they won't run through the usual modulations of ascending in full steps through the jam. Instructing a bass player to stay on F doesn't mean that he has to exclusively play the note F. Rather, he's free to still explore the various tonalities in F. Mike could explore an F minor sound that the Haley's jam is typically in, or he can opt for an F7 sound or wow. an F major sound. Being the three tonalities where a vast majority of fish jams live, at least in the beginning of most jams. Wow. In part two of Sirius XM's Ask Trey series, Stephanie Jenkins asked Trey, what do you want people attending their first fish show to learn or take away from the experience? And if you could give them an assignment, what would it be? In his response, Trey talked about working with the Second City comedy troupe and discussing their improv training and how it aligned with Fish's philosophy. The basis of that kind of comedy is yes and. Everyone agrees with and adds to what the previous person said, and that's the way you do group improvisation. Acceptance is the key, it's about learning to coexist. 
Finally, Trey asks the audience to engage in their own experiments using the yes and technique. In Bossy Pants, Tina Fey lays out her four rules of improvisation, which were equally shaped by her own experiences in her comedic career, as well as with the time she spent in Second City. The first rule of improvisation is agree. Always agree and say yes. When you're improvising, this means you are required to agree with whatever your partner has created. So if we're improvising and I say freeze, I have a gun, and you say, that's not a gun, it's your finger. You're pointing your finger at me. Our improvised scene has ground to a halt. But if I say freeze, I have a gun, and you say, the gun I gave you for Christmas, you bastard. Then we have started a scene because we have agreed that my finger is in fact a Christmas gun. Now obviously in real life you're not always going to agree with everything everyone says, but the rule of agreement reminds you to respect what your partner has created and to at least start from an open-minded place. Start with a yes and see where that takes you. As an improviser, I always find it jarring when I meet someone in real life whose first answer is no. No, we can't do that. No, that's not in the budget. No, I will not hold your hand for a dollar. What kind of way is that to live? The second <laughs> rule of improvisation is to not only say yes, but yes and. You are supposed to agree and then add something of your own. If I start a scene with, I can't believe it's so hot in here, and you just say, yeah, we're kind of at a standstill. But if I say, I can't believe it's so hot in here, and you say, what did you expect? We're in hell. Or if you say, yes, this can't be good for the wax figures. Or if I say, I can't believe it's so hot in here, and you say, I told you we shouldn't have crawled into this dog's mouth. Now we're getting somewhere. To me, yes and means don't be afraid to contribute. It's your responsibility to contribute. Always make sure you're adding something to the discussion. Your initiations are worthwhile. The next rule is make statements. This is a positive way of saying, by the way, I really, really like Tina Fey. I've always liked her work, and she was great on uh, Saturday Night Live. Said that real quick. Don't ask questions all the time. If we're in a scene and I say, who are you? Where are we? What are we doing here? What's in that box? I'm putting the pressure on you to come up with all the answers. Rule number four, there are no mistakes, only opportunities. In the next few moments of this Haley's Jam, we'll see Fish adopting these approaches. The band begins to collectively settle into a meditative F. Dorian sound, where they are in mutual, unspoken agreement of the tonal territory they're exploring. Trey and Paige end up playing call and response with each other, where Trey begins improvising repeated phrases in F. Dorian. Okay, I blew right past the... Um... <laughs> I blew right past where I was supposed to stop for um, this part to end. This was going to be a shorter part. I'll just find another po another point to pause. If there's a commercial, that'll be where I stop it. And then we'll just resume after the commercial for part three. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm about 20 seconds past when we were supposed to pause. So for, that's okay. No big deal. Let's keep going. The rest of the band, including Trey, are rhythmically locked in and are strongly emphasizing downbeats, beats 1, 2, 3, and 4. Paige uses yes and by also playing an F Dorian and uses syncopation to play his lines on the upbeats. This way, Paige is in full agreement with what the rest of the band is doing by staying in F Dorian, and he's evolving on what Trey's doing by putting his own rhythmic and melodic spin on it. The exchange of ideas between these two gives us a gorgeous moment in the jam, shaped by careful listening and sticking to the core fundamentals of improv theory.
really enjoying that jam all right we'll stop for part two here uh we're gonna pick right up i guess we're still right in the middle of this jam for part three so make sure you you jump right into the description get right to part three i'll i'll uh, go back 10 seconds from here and that's where part three will start um like i said i blew by the original the initial uh, spot where i was supposed to pause for the end of part two for part two this part that we're in right now um but I was really enjoying the jam. The information he was given was great, but you know, Fish is, they are masters. Obvious, complete masters, especially of a jam, how they play off each other. We're really learning how they did this in this particular one. It's very inf in, uh, informative and very, very interesting for me anyway. Um, so I'm gonna come back with a quick close and then let's get to part three. There you have it. That is uh, Haley's Comet, Anatomy of a Jam. So, so impressive how they play off each other. Some of the note stuff, some of the notes went over my head. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um, but either way, so, so impressive. And I imagine all jam bands do that. They play off each other. And it's very cool to have someone basically 
taking us by the hand and telling us this is what's happening while we're listening to it. This person's playing off of this person. This person hears this, so they're going to change what they're doing. And they're each playing off of each other. For an extended period of time, we got masters on stage doing this, obviously, too. This is Fish, and they are masters at a jam. Um, I am a little disappointed that we had to wait this long to pause for, for the end of part two. Um, I blew by the original, original thing. And we're right in the middle of the jam, which kind of sucks. But we have the commercial up. It is the logical place to, to do it. It's just an ice cream. Uh, looks like a milkshake on screen right now. Um, so this is the end of part two. We're going to jump right into part three. Real quick, couple things. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel like Wade, information for Venmo and PayPal in the description below. Also at the end of this, definitely appreciate everybody who donates. I also have the podcast, Perks Pod. Uh, go to Spotify, search Perks Pod. My name, Craig Perkins, with that, and I'll pop up. Uh, we got some sports, a lot of Yankees right now and, and baseball, but we're going to jump into some football. We're going to jump into some wrestling, I think, this weekend. And, of course, we also do uh, talk about what's going on on this channel, the Perks Recap channel, what I'm reacting to musically, and we also talk about music. If you want to join the podcast and come on the podcast with me, uh, just send an email to perkspod at gmail.com, and uh, we'll set up a time. We'll have a conversation, and then you'll be on the podcast if you'd like to join me. That'd be great. I already had Al on it, and it went really, really well, and uh, he's going to come on again for sure. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Please join me for part three. The link for it is in the description below, so just go right in the description. Hit part three. You'll be right there. I'm going to it right now. Join me for that, and until then, I will see you later.